the lovely thing about simulation is that you can put this car in a virtual wind tunnel. You can look at how the air will move around those shapes without having to physically build anything, which is absolutely the benefit of what ANSYS brings to the table. Once we've done the sort of number crunching side, you need to post-process it and put it out into something we can really see and visualize and understand. And that's where you get those kind of iconic, um, really brightly colored flow diagrams where you see all the air moving around the car. Yeah. The brilliant thing is that you can do dozens of those before you have to commit to a design. So in the old days, we would have had to prototype physically and that's expensive, it takes time, and you don't get the results for months mm. in advance. You know, it takes, it takes a long time to actually get the results back. Now, we could prototype in the virtual world, go to the virtual wind tunnel, and get data, like real valuable data, that we can then correlate with what happens on track really quickly. Yeah. So it means that we're able to make decisions more rapidly, we're able to go through more iterative design um, simulations before we commit to what we think is the best one. And when we then get to the track, we have higher confidence that the car we put on track will replicate the car we saw in the virtual wind tunnel. Yeah. And that's what it's all about, is making sure that your simulation car and your real car are as closely aligned in terms of data as possible. Um, and that's hopefully where ANSYS can give us that competitive edge.